According to research, the appearance of your teeth is linked powerfully to your mental health. In fact, patients with even light dental issues often struggle with self-esteem issues. Here to further discuss this is our friend dentist, Dr. Bill Dorfman. Welcome back, sir. Thank you. And I'm glad we're, I'm glad we're talking about this because this concept of a broken smile, broken spirit, we probably don't talk about it enough. Yeah, you know... Your smile's the first thing that people notice about you. And there's such a strong mind-body connection that, you know, when you don't smile because you're embarrassed or ashamed, it sends off the wrong vibe. People think you're mad or you're angry or mm -hmm. unfriendly. And that might not be the case. You might really just be embarrassed. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I have a personal story about myself because I had really bad teeth when I was growing up. That's my teeth. As a 10 year old, oh. it was in fact such a great story that my orthodontist asked me for my permission to feature in an orthodontics magazine. Nice. But I had a crush on a boy when I was in junior high, and I remember we went on a big bowling date. A bunch of people were there. He told a really funny joke. I laughed super hard, and he said, Man, you'd be cute if your teeth were straight. Aww. Clearly, you had a great result. This is one of the reasons I'm happy we're talking about this, because more and more, we know if you smile, and it can send out these positive vibes. But nowadays, in your world, there's so much more that can be done. Dental issues can truly affect patients psychologically, as we've been discussing. This is exactly what happened with our next guest, Whitney. Most people see me as a fun, outgoing, bubbly person that loves life. But sometimes I do feel like I am living a lie. I've been hiding a secret that even my friends and my boyfriend don't even know about. I was born with dentogenesis imperfecta. This is actually a genetic disease. I have it and my mother had it too. We basically don't have any type of enamel on our teeth. Whitney was picked on as a kid when she was seven. A group of kids had held her down and were prying her mouth open, telling her, why don't you brush your teeth? I remember standing in front of the mirror one night and just brushing them, begging my mom, asking her why they won't turn white. Got into high school and <laughs> never had any kind of boyfriend and girls would post on social media that I would never find love and never have anybody that would want to be with me. It just basically tore up my life. When I was a junior in high school, my mom got a hold of Dr. Dorfman and he set me up with Snap-on Smiles. It was probably the most liberating feeling ever, but they are causing me problems all the time. I constantly covering my mouth while eating because they will pop on and off and occasionally they will break. She doesn't see her gifts. She only sees that one fault. I want to look in the mirror and feel like I'm actually pretty and not live in this lie that I've been living. Whitney is here is a perfect reflection of what we were just talking about and you know I can tell from your emotions that you haven't kept this a secret for so long from everyone, including your boyfriend. Yeah, um, there's no way I would ever be able to bring myself to tell my boyfriend about this because if I did, I'd feel like he'd run away and I would have to just open that door again of, you know, being bullied and being treated poorly just because of my teeth. And so nobody at home knows about this and I decided to come on here to let people know that it is real and people have this and that they're not alone. I just wonder how much of this has really limited you even socially you know engaging with people feeling free to be yourself how much of that has impacted you and how you connect with people? It impacted me greatly like growing up I remember being at cheer camp, and I had, when I had to snap on smiles, I would have to like hide in the shower to brush my teeth and mm -hmm. any kind of sleepovers. I was never one of the girls that they're brushing their teeth. And, right. and before I got the snap on smiles, it was everything I did was just completely secretive. Like I never let anyone see me smile, and I'd always cover my mouth while we were mm -hmm. doing any kind of laughing or talking even. I want to 
pull back just a moment, Dr. Dorfman, so everyone can understand what Whitney is dealing with. I mean, well, first of all, I've known you. I'm going to cry, too, <laughs> since you were 15. And um, I know she was bullied, and, you know, people made fun of her, and they, they thought it was her fault, like she didn't brush her mm -hmm. teeth, or, you know, she was a drug addict, you know, which is not the truth. It's not her fault. You know, this is a very, very rare genetic disorder. And basically what happens in dentinogenesis imperfecta is your teeth is formed of layers. The outer layer of your teeth is, is a hard enamel, and then the inner layer is a softer dentin. The dentin doesn't form properly. So what happens is the enamel flakes off. So Whitney could be eating just regular food like you all eat, and her teeth just crumble apart. Mm -hmm. And, and it, it's not her fault. Plus, they have this dark brownish or bluish discoloration, which makes it even worse. And Dr. Dorfman, I always say that dentistry has come such a long way. Mm -hmm. And there are now more options. Yeah, and you know what? I think it's time that we give you the smile you always dreamed of. <laughs> and... What we've done is my colleagues and I, along with Da Vinci Dental Studios, who are going to make all your teeth, have made a plan where we can put crowns and veneers on all your affected teeth so you don't have to be ashamed of the way you smile. And guess what? I have a little surprise for you. We're going to start right now. As soon as we're done. We're going to go right now from here to my office in Century City, and you're going to go home tonight with beautiful white temporaries, and you're going to show everybody your beautiful smile. How's that? That's so wonderful. Whitney. We've been waiting since she's 15 years old. That's so this. great. Whitney, how do you feel? Oh, my gosh. I'm so happy. Oh, I'm so happy for you. You have one assignment I'm going to give you. So Dr. Dorfman is going today to give you the beautiful smile you deserve. But then over the next week, before we have you back on the stage, we need you to exercise that smile. <laughs> and don't be afraid to smile and show this world your beautiful smile, oh, okay? don't worry. I know she That's will. your only home assignment. So we look forward to having you back on the stage. Yeah, you guys. Thank you. Dr. Dorfman. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to you and your whole crew. We cannot wait to have you back. Let's go do it. Let's go, you two. We'll be right back.